Question from Shia Hiroki. All right, then I'll ask all the questions I'm curious about without holding back. Please give some advice to aspiring manga artists just starting. We often make plenty of mistakes in the beginning. Some mistakes lead to learning something, while others simply mess things up. Could you please share how to handle mistakes? Specifically, which mistakes are worth learning from? Can't you give some good advice to aspiring manga artists who are just starting? Wishing you good health and happiness, Sensei. Fantastic question. Thank you very much. Some advice for aspiring manga artists who are just starting out. How to handle mistakes. Indeed, we make plenty of mistakes. Some mistakes become valuable lessons and experiences in life, but others simply lead to only mess things up. Okay, what if we look at mistakes from this perspective? Mistakes that only lead to making a mess don't exist after all. No matter what mistake you make, even if you mess up terribly, even if you make a foolish mistake that sticks with you for a lifetime, the truth is, it might not have been so bad. Especially for those of you, like aspiring manga artists, who are in a learning phase. The beauty of being in a learning phase is, even if you make quite a few mistakes, they don't necessarily become major issues. Even if your mistakes unintentionally hurt the feelings of your friends or family and disappoint them. Sincere reflection and apology, along with the courage to start anew, can bring opportunities. Aspiring manga artists just starting out shouldn't fear mistakes. It's important to understand that making them is okay. Make plenty of mistakes. It's okay. Because there's always something to learn from mistakes. In my case, I've made numerous mistakes. Even after becoming a professional, I still made plenty of mistakes. Many aspiring artists and authors must have made their fair share of mistakes as well. But reflecting on my past after becoming a Shonen Jump author, I realized that I've made countless mistakes, though there were very few things I got right. But if even one of those mistakes had been avoided, I might not have made it into Shonen Jump. That's what I think. No, I truly believe that. The important thing is to never be discouraged by mistakes and to learn something from each one. Even from the big mess up, you can gain something and learn. There are no mistakes that don't teach you something. You can learn from any mistake. But you have to make good use of them. You should see mistakes as valuable experiences and lessons. I need to turn this mistake into a valuable lesson. I will definitely consider it as an experience. Don't ever think you won't make any mistakes. Sometimes improving your skills means making a lot of mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't fear making mistakes, don't get discouraged, and I hope you learn and grow from them. It's okay to make mistakes. <laughs> Question from Pewtush101 Do you go to the actual locations to take photos and then draw them for the backgrounds in your manga? Or do you research photos, videos, or other references and draw from those? Your background drawings are so realistic. Greetings from India. Wow, greetings from India. Thank you so much for your support and wonderful question. I really hope to visit India someday. When it comes to drawing backgrounds for manga, I believe in using whatever is necessary. I think this is the answer. Actually, isn't that true not just for drawing manga but for all aspects of life? Try every available method. It's not about which method is right or wrong, but rather about trying different approaches based on the situation and your own preferences. With the internet being so advanced these days, I usually find the background materials I need online. I often search for references on my own using Google. Of course, it's crucial to search according to your needs and circumstances. But I also believe that developing your own search techniques for greater efficiency is crucial. I have my own search techniques too. 
I always consider what kinds of backgrounds might appear in my manga and save and organize images accordingly. Living in Japan I take numerous photos of Japanese scenery and I always carry my camera with me wherever I go. Every site I see, no matter where I am, I consider it part of my research. So whether I'm enjoying a meal, finding something new, or simply going for a walk, I'm always pondering. This is something I might need for the next chapter background drawing. It could be useful for me. If there's something worthwhile, I always take a shot first. Especially when it comes to the sky. You see, the sky is... The cloud shape example. It doesn't always produce the shape of clouds I want, right? Of course, we can search for cloud images on the internet. But we can't just draw or use those images we find from searches without caution. Because there are copyright issues, so we absolutely can't use them freely. That's why I have to use photos I've taken of the sky. The shapes of clouds, weather, and the forms of nature don't always match what I envision. So whenever I look at the sky, I have to think, ah, those are the clouds I need for my manga, and always take photos. Whether I'm out or in my studio whenever I see the sky. Oh my, what beautiful clouds. I need them for my background drawing source. And always snap photos and organize them. So the skies and clouds in my work are all gathered from photos I've personally taken. That's how it goes. I hope this helps.